Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to talk to you about using text functions. The functions I want to cover are the left, the right, the mid, clean, substitute, replace, trim, and finally the text function. So on the screen, I've got some examples that you can have a quick look at, and then I'll recreate those. So at the top, I've got my name there in cell A2. And the first example is using the mid function. So that's the function there. Looking at A2, starting at the second position and showing six characters. That's what that means. Next is the left function. Left, looking at A2, show four characters from the left. Right is exactly the opposite. Four characters from the right coming in from the right. Now this one is using two functions, the clean and the substitute function. So I'm using the char function, char32, char7, which basically these are the ASCII codes for a blank space, 32 is, and the ASCII code for the delete, 7. So basically I'm getting rid of that blank space in between this phone number, that's what that's doing making sure it cleans up any non-printed spaces as well. This next one is replace. I've got a number there without the leading zero on it, and I want that to have a zero. So you've got the replace there, A6. I click into it, start at the first number, number of characters in zero, because it wants to be at the beginning, and then that's the character I want to replace it with, zero. Okay, to that one. Trim, there's a blank space at the beginning of this text string. The trim function, trim A7, we'll just get rid of that. Look, you can see there's no blank space. And then the next one is using a bit of concatenation, which is what you use to join a text string to a cell reference. So it's going today's date is, and then it's looking at C8. C8 is today's date, but it's not formatted as a date. But the one below is using the text function, Still concatenation using the and sign with the text function, and then C8 is where the date is, and then you've got the date format there, and that's how that produces this result. So what I want to do is recreate some of these so you can see how it works. So first off, starting at the top there, we'll just go, I'll just put some titles down here. We'll go mid, left, right, and clean and replace, do these ones, trim and text. That's what we'll do. So I'm gonna use A2 each time, so it's straightforward, equals mid, and then as soon as you open the bracket, the help comes up, click on the, the cell that you want. So in this case, it's that one, comma. What's the start position? Let's go for two again, comma, how many characters? Let's go for six, just to make it the same. Close the bracket, click the tick. So it starts at the second position and brings that in. So left equals left. Open the bracket, click on the cell that you want to look at. Comma, how many characters? Six from the left. Close the bracket. So that's given the whole of the first name. Right equals right, click on the same cell, A2, comma, how many from the right, let's say four, close the bracket, tick, four characters from the right. Now, clean and substitute, let's have a look at this one. So we're doing equals clean first, open the bracket, and then substitute. Open the bracket on that one. So then it's looking at the cell reference. So the cell reference on this one is this cell here, this one. And then we need to use the char function, character function. So character 32 Remember, character 32 is a blank space. 
close the bracket on that, comma, with char 7, which is delete, and then we're closing the other two brackets, like so. And tick that one. So we got rid of the space there. So replace, the next one down is replace. We want to replace the fact that there's no leading zero. We want to put a zero in there in front of the 191. That's what we want to do. So it goes 0191. So the formula is equals, replace, open bracket. And then you're clicking on the cell that you want to replace, which is A6, comma. And then the start position is 1, or start number. Number of characters, 0, comma. And then you need to put whatever you want, in this case, 0 in quotes. Close the bracket and tick that so it puts a zero on for you. Trim. So we want to trim this blank space. So it's equals trim. Open the bracket. Click on that cell. Close the bracket. It's a simple one. Tick. Gets rid of that. And then the text function. So first of all, I'll do it without the text function. Looking at this date. So it's just basically equals. When you do concatenation without the function, you need to put quotes in. So today's date is, and then you, you need to use the and sign, which is a concatenation symbol, and click on the cell you want, that one. When I tick that, it works, but it hasn't formatted that to a date. That's the number for this cell. If I put this, this back to number, well, generally, you can see that's why, why it's coming up with that. To make that as a date format, you need to use the text function. So I'll do the same thing, but I'll use the text function this time. So back over here, we go equals, open quote, today's date is, space, close quotes, do the and, the concatenation or the glue point, and then text function. So we're using the text function on this cell, comma, and then you're putting it in the format that you want, which in my case is going to be DDMMYY. And that needs to be in quotes, close the bracket, click the tick. And then that formats that into a proper date format as opposed to a number. So this is just a very short video of how you can use some of the text functions to get a result that you require. So we've looked at the mid, the left, the right, clean and substitute, char function, replace, trim, and the text function. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.